previously on the final pitch. Rico Bautista met with his picks at the Etika HQ. So guys, welcome to our office. I hope that we'll find partnerships in you in whatever form and whatever way because we believe in your own individual purposes and visions and goals. So again, congratulations to you all for making it this far. This week, we meet the young and dynamic serial entrepreneur Brian Polia Manzares of Pantheon Holdings. My name is John Aguilar, and I'm a serial entrepreneur based in Manila, Philippines. I've gathered a formidable cast of business and industry leaders on the lookout to fund and support the country's rising entrepreneurs. Henry Aguda, convener of Go Digital Pilipinas and president and CEO of Union Digital Bank. Rico Bautista, president and CEO of Etica Philippines. Brian Polia Manzares, president of Pantheon Holdings. Robert Scott, Vice President Hotel Operations of Okada, Manila. And ambassadors to the Philippines, Elon Flues of Israel and Law Bofis of the United Kingdom. Many will try, but only a few will make it to the final pitch. Brian Polia Manzares is a remarkable figure who hails from an influential family with diverse backgrounds in the realms of entertainment, business, and politics. As the president of Pantheon Holdings, he carries the torch of his family's legacy while carving out his own path of success. On my mom's side of the family, we have my grandparents who were the king and queen of Philippine cinema, FBJ and Susan Rosas. And of course, there's my mom, who is our first generation politician who now sits as a senator. On the other side of the family, it's mostly professionals. And then there's me. So the happy in-between of both of them, working in public service and also here in business. My formative years, I spent them in the United States. It's more of when I moved here that really shaped who I am today. Because when I moved here, my first experience was the passing of my grandfather. But it was only when I moved back that I realized what a big star he was. Because my first experience moving back was his wake. Little by little, I was learning a bit about his story, about his life, and I was inspired about the things I heard, about him being a generous person, about his stories of helping in different communities. That's really kind of what inspired me to go into public service and also into what I'm doing today. So I'm kind of a bit of a, an adrenaline junkie. I've done a bit of judo, jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, boxing. After that, I got into um, racing because of this show called Drive to Survive, right? I wanted the experience. I really wanted to get into it, so I, I started looking for sponsors. And we were able to finish Rookie of the Year and third place overall. And then, of course, in the off season, I'm into shooting. I'm really trying to build that skill set. So it's really nice because it ties into my studies now because I'm, I'm taking my master's in national defense at the National Defense College of the Philippines. And I get to spend a lot of time with the AFP. I get to train with them. It's, it's been fun. Yes, I, I am a bit of a nerd. I have a life-size Iron Man statue in my condo. And my mom, who's very into interiors, and then she sees this giant Iron Man statue and she's like, well, I guess it works because you're, you're still a bachelor and everything, but Brian, why? <laughs> As a son, of course, uh, you know, I, I really worry a lot about him, but in a lot of ways, he's actually the one that gives me a lot of support. Even in my professional life, I'm lucky because he's also interested in what I do. He really has a heart for people. He's very compassionate. Quietly, I learned from other people that he has helped them. And so public service is quite suitable for him. And I think he's really serious about someday joining public service. That's why now he's really striving hard to have his own source of income. My day job and my passion will always be public service. But at the end of the day, I find business refreshing. It's nice to meet new people with new ideas and see how inspired entrepreneurs are and be a part of that journey. So that's why I wear both hats. But they're both driven towards one thing, and that's basically nation building. 
so I started my watch company, uh, Time Master Watches, and after that it was just one business after the other. I, I guess I got bit by the bug. There was something about building industry that really inspired me. So Pantheon Holdings, I remember we sat down one day, they were like, Brian, you realize that you have so many um, startups already. Maybe it would be best if we put it all in one holding company so that we can monitor it and we can create a team to really just professionally monitor and grow these companies. So we ended up putting up Pantheon and little by little Pantheon just started growing. Our team is really mostly Millennials and Gen Z. Even the business partners um, and the different investments that we've made, they're all sort of the new generation. So we're very open, we're very collaborative. As much as possible, we want to be able to expose our team to as many industries. And we also try to sort of see where they want to be in the future. Because we're not really just building a team, we're building the next generation of leaders. Well, we ended up investing in a group called A3, which is a group of um, companies. You have Atmos Digital, you have ICA Events, and you have Access PR. There was a revenge of events, uh, and the company just boom, it just grew. Another company that we have is Oracle Media Group, and Oracle Media Group started with one publication. It started with the Manila Journal, and then it ended up becoming a full-fledged media company with two magazines, a like magazine, and a Rising Tigers magazine, which is the country's most distributed magazine. We really grew this whole media outfit. So whoop, they came to us and I believed in their vision that they wanted to help people get scholarships. We invested with them. And then of course there's the watch company, but when we got into the watch company, it spilled off into a bunch of other um, retail related businesses and so we built Emporium uh, which houses all of our retail businesses. We have a lot of things in research and development. It's nice to have built this group of companies over the years and being on the final pitch was really the culmination of it and uh, they said well we've been doing this for how many years. It's no different from what we do on a daily basis with people pitching. We as a group decided that we're not on the show just to generate capital. Uh, we're on the show because we want to support things that we believe in. We want Milo, a speech learning development app system, to be accessible to as many parents as possible. Milo, I feel, is a good business because it addresses a very niche problem. I think that's a fantastic advocacy and I feel that there is a need for it. We have developed school tech. It's a simple and affordable, all-in-one AI-integrated school management system with our MVP features all in the price of one. School Tech, and what they're doing is very unique. They're creating management systems for schools so that they can transition into the digital age, right? They're focusing on the small to medium-sized schools and helping them make the transition into that space. And for me, that's fantastic. What we're looking for are advisors, and mentors that could guide us through our aim for growth, but most especially foreign partners. We don't have an in-house CTO, so J Labs actually fulfills a role in our ecosystem. It's the last remaining piece of the puzzle to my 360 digital marketing company. We created Momiki the Super Pet App, the Philippines' first ever one-stop mobile app for all your pet needs from birth to rebirth. We, we felt that a uh, pet super app was very interesting. We see a lot of potential behind it because I'm sure some of them can agree that they really do take care of their pets. Pets usually come first. The best advice that I can give is take your time. You don't have to rush. I know it looks like there are all these overnight successes and all these unicorns and you hear all sorts of wonderful success stories and that's great, but at your own pace. There are a lot of businesses that took time. So you may not shine today, you may not shine tomorrow, but stick with it and you'll shine in the future. Up next. Welcome to our HU office, where all the marketing magic happens, and uh, I can't wait to show you around. So I'm gonna meet with you guys each one by one to talk about your companies, so 
Thank you very much and let's go! Okay guys, I know that there's such a thing as good karma. You all did something really nice. So this is our overnight stay here at the Tower Villa. You know, someone's waiting for us inside. You know who? Our own personal butler. <laughs> welcome to your Tower Villa. Allow me to welcome you to the living room. This is your Tower Villa. This is roughly 475 square meters and it comes with four bedrooms. So if you'd like to tone down and um, relax, and you're staying in your villa, we have a in-room spa. Another feature that the villa has is it is also equipped with an in-room gym. This right here is the main twin bedroom. And then over here, we have our very lavish bathroom. This one over here is a twin bedroom with a view of the bay. Last but certainly not the least, we do have the master's bedroom. Of course, with the master's bedroom, we do have a jacuzzi here as well. This is amazing. This has probably got to be the best, well, villa I've ever seen in my entire life. So I don't know what we did to deserve this room, but we have this for tonight. I think we need a drink, right? Right. Hey, John. Good Ryan. to see you, man. I heard that this is actually your first day here in this new office. Yes, actually, this is my first day here. <laughs> A3 is one of our premier companies that really went the whole nine yards. So I haven't been here yet. I'm happy to be here first time with you guys. Brian, I'd like to once again call in your picks for the final pitch. Looking forward to it. We have Mommy Key. J Labs. School Tech. And last but not the least, Milo. So, Brian, these are your picks for the final pitch. Fantastic. Good to have you all here. And the uh, person who is going to tour us here at A3 uh, is my good friend and business partner, the president of A3, Jarek Santos. Hey guys. Good morning. Welcome to our A3 office where all the marketing magic happens and uh, I can't wait to show you around. And let's do it. Our office is uh, designed as a co-working collaborative space so we see a lot of our teams working together hand in hand here when we're talking about uh, 360 digital marketing that means everything from let's say your influencer marketing because you need to manage your relations with them to the filming and production of your ad which we'll put out we could also do the ad buying for you um, all that wrapped up into like one company so, one-stop shop, anything you need, the company has it. Okay, so uh, I'll also introduce you to the whole Mancom group, um, the one that is heading our creatives, our production, and our accounts as well. Yeah, this is where all the magic happens. This is pretty much the office. Uh, you, you saw the creatives team in the middle, and then on the left side is the operations room where all the executions happen. So, we, have, uh, we do all the production works there. And then this is the most important part, which is the huddle room, where all our ideas and um, strategy come into play. And I'm sure Brian would definitely need this huddle room for you guys. So I'm going to meet with you guys each one by one to talk about your companies. So thank you very much and let's go. Yes. yes. Welcome. Uh, we're really excited to um, hopefully work with you guys. You have a business that we're very interested in because it solves a pain point for us. As you've seen here in A3, we can basically fulfill all of our customers' needs when it comes to marketing. And part of that is, of course, sometimes website development, sometimes app development. That might be you as our outsource partner. So, Marco, you want to take it away? Yeah, of course. I wanted to ask, um, how much is your monthly OPEX and how does your like revenue match that? Are you guys in the red already? Are you guys in the green? Yeah, so yeah. our revenue is uh, 18,000 USD 
monthly recurring revenue, and we have 50% 50, 50 margins. So basically, our OPEX is half of that. So right now, your uh, direction is really more focused on local clients, finding startups. Is that what you want to do? Very good question. Um, right now, 73% of our clients are first world countries, to be exact. Basically, we're an offshore software development outsourcing company, but we have 23% local clients. Well, ultimately, if we're talking about A3, we also service a lot of international clients. So it's, it's really up to you how you want to grow, in which direction, but either way, we can help you. Yeah, we are very excited to have a collaborative work and continuous uh, professional work together, hopefully. Hopefully, we do get to work together. We'll, we'll find you those clients. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you guys for being here and congratulations here at this stage. If anything, I want you to know that we picked you guys because education is very important to us. I know you have other verticals or other projects you're working on. We actually have two products. We launched Edfolio first, which is an e-commerce site for ebooks, And then we launched School Tech just um, a, a few months after, which is October of the same year. So basically the goal for Edfolio is, I mean, we're, we're trying to reach out to Filipino authors as well as educator authors who already have, say, modules, worksheets, activity, activity sheets they have made over the past years as an educator. Yeah. So now they will have a platform to, you know, sell it and see for what it's worth. And other teachers can also, you know, um, maybe purchase their materials on the site as well. Regarding the, um, the school system that you guys build for uh, medium to small schools, basically, um, I see two points of possible collaboration on the business side. Um, we are investors in Whoop, which is uh, basically a scholarship platform. I think that maybe a scholarship component on, on your platform would be good, so we might be able to partner there. But something I wasn't able to mention when you guys were pitching was uh, our recent investment in mental health services. Uh, and I know that it's a, re it's a rising concern for the educational community to take care of the mental health of both their students and their faculty. So yeah, I'm really an advocate of mental health and you know, it would be a great addition to the features of School Tech. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Let's uh, let's see each other again soon. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. I just want you to know that we need to fine tune in order to make this a more profitable business. Thank you. Uh, I think more on just advice regarding how you guys market yourselves. Um, I think with an app, you really have to find that one problem that you really want to solve because you're trying to make a new habit for people to actually use your app. Um, actually, we know that you have this capacity to help us with marketing. So it's one area that we really need at, at this moment because we're practically doing everything. Although um, we've recently onboarded two more folks to help us with business development and with social media boosting. But we know it, everything can be more made more hard working. Right, right. Well, of course, uh, we'll be, be very transparent funding. So we've been bootstrapping this for more than a year now. And uh, we, f uh, we feel like it's time for us uh, to open the company to investors, especially that, you know, uh, speed is critical right now yes. that we have soft launched the app already so yeah all right well it was great doing this one-on-one -on -one. i look forward to seeing you guys yeah. all right thank you thank you thank you guys thank you. so much congratulations welcome to the next stage um and i'm super happy that we get to have this one-on-one -on -one sit down first of all good to be working with you again thank you so yeah much. um but we're we're really excited and happy to hear that you guys are pursuing this as an advocacy and also as a sustainable business so faith did you have any thoughts yeah um so right now uh with where you guys are with your company and your product um what do you guys need when it comes to you know us coming in as well so we know how we can help you well for now uh we we need additional investments basically so that we could produce more videos because mm -hmm. right now there are three uh, three lab, three categories so language learning which is the most basic all we need is for, for the child to be able to communicate mm -hmm. and then the second one is skills and then later part three is reading so apart from that one because uh, right now we're on the stage of uh, doing the production for the content we're doing it uh, even before uh, uh, final pitch and we're, we're, we're thankful that uh, 
some of the problems as a startup was already solved for the past few uh, mentorship, for example, legal matters, for example, PR, which is also your offering as well. So it's a problem that doesn't need convincing for, for the customers. So it's a matter of reaching more people. Eh? Thank you so much for your time. It's good seeing you again. Great seeing you. Up next, welcome to Apotheca. I would like to introduce to you my partners who are keeping this business above and green. You know, I really hope that I'll get the opportunity to work with you guys. In Pantheon, we believe in a collection of great businesses, all supporting each other and building off of each other. All right, everyone, welcome to Apotheca. One of the many concepts here at Key Concepts, this is our flagship project in food and beverages. And I would like to introduce to you my partners who are keeping this business above and green. First, let me introduce to you our COO, Carlos. And our CEO, Marco. Marco, Carlos, take it away. So Apotheca is our techno club, which is also a performance venue. This is where we talk up different cultures and products, cocktails, music, and this is the culmination of our group's um, entire repertoire of tech. This concept with Apotheca is really for uh, the Gen Z. You can tell by the way that it's outfitted. It's very exciting, very young. Every market that you can reach in food and beverage in terms of your nightlife can be found here in this one building. So there, we'll, uh, I believe we'll be taking you on a tour of the building. So if you guys will uh, come with me, we'll go this way. All right, everyone, welcome to Ugly Duck. This is your place where you can chat, where you can sit down and relax a bit and also listen to good music, have some good food. Marco, uh, would you like to tell them a little bit about the activities that we normally have here at Ugly Duck? So people have dinner here. We serve Asian tapas. So it's a fusion with Asian ingredients with Spanish tapas. Um, people celebrate birthdays here, um, special occasions exactly what Ugly Duck was meant to be. So I'd like to invite you guys all to try some food and uh, if you have any questions for me, I'm happy to take them. Go ahead guys, Thank you. enjoy. Thank you. See you. So Brian, we'll get the ball rolling. Um, what will you choose us? Just so we can also know how we will better position our company. Well, I'll be completely honest with you. Out of everything in your pitch, what really excited me was the aspect of your medical tracking. Because, it, well, we've always had the experience of having a hard time finding good vets. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, the medical records of dogs has always been questioned. Like, uh, if you buy from someone, like a breeder, yeah. you take it on their word or whatever documents yeah. they have. Um, and it's not universal. It's like, kanya kanya yes. with the records. Mm -hmm. What I would like to see happening with your app is if you could take it one step further and develop okay. it so that like you could have partnerships with the vets so that if they have the app, they can put the prescription on the app yeah. and then immediately you as the pet owner, you could order it right away. Again, thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Thank you also. Yeah, first of all, we would like to thank you for the opportunity for picking us. Just wanted to ask you, as an entrepreneur, how do you see the opportunity of Milo globally? Well, I, what, what I realized was when you were pitching, the potential for your project isn't just local. So unlike uh, many other projects that are very hyper-localized, yours has the potential to be a global player. And with your ability to produce content much cheaper than anywhere else in the world, you can also undercut the market and actually take clients from other similar apps around the world, right? So really, what I'm more concerned about with your company isn't so much the production, because I, I know you can do excellent production. Um, I'm more concerned about your marketing. So I need to be able to 
get your app out there for the international market. We've always, as a marketing company, focused on uh, marketing here in the Philippines. Um, this is going to be, if ever, our first project to try and get new global clients. Thank you for that. Hi, Brian. Julius here. Um, again, we're very thankful for you picking us. If not, we won't be able to eat this very good food. <laughs> so my question is, what are your top three qualities for evaluating a partnership before you say, like, we can move forward with it? Oh, that's a, that's a good question. Um, number one is I look at the, the people behind the team. Um, are these people the type who have put everything into the company that they're in? Or is this just kind of like a, a school project type of thing? We're not really in it all the way. So that's the first thing. Second thing I look at is, do you fit my ecosystem? I mean, I really invest in things that I like to use um, or that I feel would be compatible with other investments I've already made, right? And the last is, if I build your company, what does it mean for people? Yeah. What does it mean for people in general? What does it mean for the country? Uh, and I know it's cheesy, but I can't remove the public servant part of who I am. So if I feel that your business in one way or another makes life better for Filipinos, uh, then I'll find a way to make that investment. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Of course, of course. Thank you. Hi, Brian. Um, so first of all, I would like to thank you for choosing Skoltech as one of your picks. What really made you interested in choosing Skoltech as one of your um, you know, picks? Because I believe that education is on the cusp of evolving again. It's quite relevant that after the pandemic, a lot of schools were already looking into hybrid programs, uh, alternative learning uh, programs. And I think that being on the edge of creating these digital school systems, uh, especially for medium to small schools, is actually putting us in that space to be a part of the next educational revolution. So what you guys are doing is you're actually helping the country keep up with countries around the world who are already moving towards more digital platforms and more digital forms of learning. So by investing in you or helping you grow, I would in turn be helping the country move forward as well. Thank right. you so much, yeah. All right, everyone. Well, I want to thank you all for taking the time to be here with us today. Uh, we really appreciate you visiting A3 and visiting here at Key Concepts. You know, I really hope that I'll get the opportunity to work with you guys. In Pantheon, we believe in a collection of great businesses, uh, all supporting each other and building off of each other. And that's what I want you guys to learn and embody as entrepreneurs and as businessmen and women, right? because we need more of that supportive entrepreneurial spirit here in the Philippines. So whether or not I'm able to join you in your companies, I'm very happy to work with you moving forward in the future. And I really do hope that you guys work with each other to build successful businesses. So cheers to you guys, your companies, and the future. Cheers. Next time on The Final Pitch, we get up close and personal with three investor judges. Henry Aguda of Go Digital Pilipinas and Union Digital Bank. This is the Union Bank uh, Plaza 48 floor bar. You know, enjoy the view, they'll tour you around. And ambassadors to the Philippines, Lobo Fees of the UK. Ambassador. John, great to see you. And Elon Flus of Israel. Please welcome. This is an Israeli breakfast. Welcome, welcome. So, bon appetit, you know, help yourselves.